Hey everybody, um, welcome and thanks for coming today. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Klingensmith. I'm an avid Joe fan and collector. I've been collecting since the mid-90s. Um, moved from loose figures and vehicles to carded figures and um, boxed vehicles and then into pre-production uh, for which I have been able to write a book series called Creating G.I. Joe. Some of you may have it or be familiar with it. Here's the latest volume of the series. Um, today, my goal is to showcase some really awesome video from the 1995 line. Um, to my knowledge, none of this has been seen as far as an action or live video. Um, most of the stuff that I've seen has either been pictures from uh, Lee's Action and News way back in the day, or sometimes some people have things in their personal collection that I've seen. Um, so. Uh, I thought this would be a fun reveal for everybody. Uh, I do apologize, first off, for the format. I wasn't sure if I was going to do Facebook Live or Zoom, but both of those uh, resulted in just choppiness, and just I wasn't very happy with the quality, um, seeing that the information is actually pulled from an old VHS, so the quality is not great as it is in the first place. So, um, so I, again, I apologize for any confusion that I may have caused. Um, so a little bit about these videos, and then at the very end of this, uh, I'm going to read off some internal memos that I've actually come across as well. I thought that'd be kind of fun at the end. Um, with these videos, there's two different videos I spliced together. The first one is just a snapshot into the model shop, just kind of an inside look into the model shop. So it's very short, but I thought you guys would enjoy it. Um, the second video, um, the VHS is actually labeled Joe Research. And so um, in looking at the video, there were other toy lines that were being featured, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, I believe Marvel's uh, Toy Biz line, um, G.I. Joe, and then Batman um, from uh, Kenner in the mid-90s. Uh, so I did splice all the other toy lines out for the sake of this video and the reveal. Um, when asked about what this video would have been used for, um, and talking to Kirk Wazigian, he shared that most likely this is something that um, was shown to kids and they were able to see some of the new product that was coming out from different toy lines just to kind of get their insight and, you know, be able to observe their feelings on what they were being shown. So uh, this is a really, again, fun inside look into our favorite brand, Joe. against evil and Cobra forces continues. Get in on all the action and adventure with G.I. Joe. Battle Corps Rangers, realistic army soldiers armed to the teeth and ready to fight. Sure Shot really gets around on his motorcycle and he comes with a communications backpack that's a secret decoder ring for you. Duke flies in with his jet backpack with spring action wings that really pop out. He even comes with a navigational pack that's a compass ring for you. Ninja Commandos, martial arts experts combating the forces of evil. Budo, armed with nunchucks and the vicious bonsai body chop. Road Pig fires his crossbow and delivers the jujitsu body slam. Cobra is on the ropes again. Dig in with Total Combat Hawk and get ready to hold your ground. 
Repel the forces of evil from this battle action bunker with real sounds and missile launcher. Even comes with a Battle Corps comic book. Nothing stands in the way of the Renegade 4x4. The Joes are ready to rumble in this off-road beast with rotating guns. Fire the net launcher! Meanwhile, from the skies above, Cobra can't hide from the hover jet with Rona launcher and working winch. And from out of nowhere comes Steeler in the Phantom XS-1 stealth tank with lock and load firing action. Built for speed and ready to fight, these mighty machines rule. Cobra fights back with the Vulture, a fast attack helicopter with working propeller blades and missile launcher. And the Eel, a fast attack boat with skip mines. Watch out! The super soldiers are powerful new superheroes that have joined the world of G.I. Joe. Volcano is a total hothead with a nasty temper. Just watch him light up and smoke. Vendetta seeks revenge with his lightsaber, working eyes, and a bad attitude. Light him up! Star Brigade takes the G.I. Joe action into the deep reaches of space. War Dog, a ferocious attack dog of the future with a megabyte. And Shockwave, ready for combat with his shoulder launch blaster with sighting mechanism. The mysterious replicators are evil alien monsters that have cloned the bodies of G.I. Joe and Cobra and are hiding inside for a surprise attack. What's that bursting out of Gung Ho's chest? Look out! Replicator Destro's body explodes on the scene to reveal wicked tentacles. The Joe's strangest enemies ever have arrived. Morphin aliens from a distant universe. Manimals have come to wreak havoc throughout the universe. Slither transforms into the ultimate serpent alien. Iguanus bears his razor-like teeth and morphs into a dragon. They're the meanest mutating monsters this side of the Milky Way. Astro Blaster Rapid Fire lights up the sky with this realistic firing laser blaster bringing G.I. Joe forces to their knees. There'll be nothing left standing once this super weapon is unleashed. Sergeant Savage is the newest, biggest, most powerful looking G.I. Joe ever. But look out, Sarge, here comes the Iron Stormtrooper. Near miss, Sergeant Savage and his screaming eagles jump into the Grizzly SS-1 4x4 and fly the P-40 Warhawk to attack from above. This souped-up warbird from World War II shows the Iron Army no mercy. Here are the latest additions to the 12-inch G.I. Joe collection. Star Brigade Countdown explores the reaches of space as explorer and soldier. Fire the missile launcher and use the grabbing claw to keep the universe safe. Total Combat Sergeant Savage is General Blitz's worst nightmare. Check out the recoil action on that machine gun. They can run, but they can't hide. Wherever there's a battle to be fought in the name of freedom, there will be the force of G.I. Joe, the real American heroes. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the comments once this goes live on YouTube as a premiere video. Uh, as I shared earlier, I have some memos I'd like to read out. So if you want to stick around and listen, you can. Uh, some interesting things in that video. There was a little bit of choppiness, but that's actually from the VHS itself, just so you know. Uh, and then the Manimals. Um, of course, those are Wave 2 of Manimals, for those of you who aren't aware of the Manimals. Um, wave 1, of course, wasn't released either, but the ones shown in this video, even though um, he stated the names of Wave 1, it was actually Wave 2 figures being shown. So, um, so first off, I wanted to kind of show, this is kind of a cool... Memo from 1995 pre Toy Fair, and some of these things can be seen there as far as um, the manimals, some different things that were going to be coming regarding manimals. Some of the notes on here state um, be sure to keep the value in the figures. Uh, Ninja Commandos lack of value, call out the actions and weapon features. Uh, vehicle assortment, guns on Jeep look cheap, no detail, change color. Uh, the Manimals, there's a video that was supposed to be coming out with the origins of the Manimals. Um, and the note says, how is this video free? They don't get the video idea. Sure. should Figures should be free, not the video. So that's one cool memo. Another memo is dated um, December 8th, 1992. And so this one says, G.I. Joe continues to march on with the next assortment of new figures. This unit of combat-capable characters will carry on with a new format of bright colors, spring-firing weapons, and themed accessory sprues. This assortment also contains a mix of familiar and new heroes and villains, villains but outlined, or outfitted in new uniforms, our characters are Major Blood, Baroness, New Joe, 
Footloose Stalker Lifeline. Another memo that um, was released was about the Ninja Force or the um, Ninja Commandos. So this one states, Ninja, and this is dated June 21st, 1993, by the way. Uh, Ninja, once again, the name will strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. These swift and silent masters of ninjutsu are once again a key element in the forces of G.I. Joe. But as before, Cobra also has trained their own masters of the art. These two brutally calculating forces shall join their brethren in facing off in their never-ending battle. This new ninja assortment contains five new characters and one continuing character that will have special ninja actions as well as the same articulation articulation as a standard G.I. Joe action figure, where it is permitted. There are five different mechanical actions that are to be incorporated into modified Joe size figures. There will be no new mechanisms among them. The actions in the figure they appear in are listed below. Flint, arm activated bushwhacker mechanism. Road pig, Hulk Hogan gorilla press slam. Roadblock, 360 degree spin mechanism. To be determined, number one and number two. Number one has cl uh, clubber mechanism. Number two has a 180 degree spin mechanism. And lastly, bonsai, it just says continuing, which I'm not sure quite what they meant by that. Um, just so you know, these memos are uh, were written by Greg Bernston, um, the product manager at the time, uh, for design. Um, and then the last one um, here is about manimals. It's wave one, but it says, From the depths of space come one of the G.I. Joe's toughest challenges. Six alien bounty hunters have crossed swords with our Star Brigade heroes. These bizarre life forms have a unique transformational ability that when they get mean, they can transform themselves into even uglier and meaner life forms. And then it goes down and lists out the different animals and kind of their features as well. And then lastly, um, there's a memo on Sergeant Savage, which really describes him. He's a rough, tough, and he returns from the past, the 1940s to be exact. Sergeant Savage is our new sized G.I. Joe hero poised to fight a new evil force that is unleashed upon the world. All the characters contained in this assortment utilize equipment, weapons, and styling cues taken from World War II era and then made it together with the, today's technology to form a new potent fighting force. So, hope you've enjoyed all the information. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, it was really fun watching this for the first time and actually seeing a lot of this, um, quote unquote, in person, per se, um, as far as an action. So. I look forward to reading your comments, and again, if you're uh, looking to purchase my books, you can find them at www.creatinggijoe.com. Have a good afternoon, guys.